Welcome back to the Coding for Kids in Python video series. This is the fifth video in the series and until now we have seen how to install Python on a PC and we also saw how to do a simple hello Python using the print function. In the later videos uh, we learned more about the print function and we did some fancy printing onto multiple lines. We also learned how to use the escape character which is the backslash to print apostrophes and double quotes. And once we had a good understanding of the print function, we um, learned about variables and I shared some very important rules you need to follow when using variables in Python. The last topic in this chapter was about F strings and um, we use them in our print function. I hope you guys have watched the previous four videos in the Coding for Kids and Python video series and had a good journey into Python so far. In the book Coding for Kids in Python, written by Mrs. Adrian Teke, she's included several fun activities for kids like us to have so much fun and solve these activities on our own. And actually, in today's video, I'll be sharing the first few of these activities with you guys and you'll be able to solve them on your own and I'll be helping you along the way. We'll be also using a new tool I discovered very recently, which is called Google Collab. I will be showing you how interesting this tool is and how easy it is to use and learn new stuff. And I hope um, you guys do like this tool. And if you do, then please comment down below and share your thoughts. And if you do like my videos, then please don't forget to share them with your friends who might find this series interesting as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell to get regular updates. See you over at Google Collab. So let's get started. So first, let us go to google.com and type in Google Collab. And now go ahead and click on the Google Collab. And when you first go to the Collab environment, it will show this message. And since we want to use Python, we will click on New Python 3 Notebook. Let me walk you through this interface. So you can see that it has created a new Python notebook and by default, the name is something like untitled IPYNB. Well, IPYNB stands for Interactive Python Notebook and you can click on the file name and change it as needed. I will go ahead and change my file to pythontutorial.ipynb. So now you can see two options, and one is for code and another is for text. And by default, you have a code block already inserted. So you can write your code right there, like print hello Python. Well, to execute the code, you just click on the play button and you can see the output below. You can see how easy it is to use Google Collab and you don't even need to install Python. If there's a new version of Python released, Google will update the Collab environment and you can pick and choose which version you want to use. And for choosing the Python version, go to Runtime, Change Runtime Type, and in the drop down for runtime type, all available versions of Python are, is listed. And since Python 3 is the latest stable version, I will go ahead and choose that. So hardware accelerator, if you are planning to execute code which uses high memory, you may need to specify GPU. For now, as we are learning how to code in Python, let us not worry about what that means. Let us leave it to the adults out there. Click on save. Well now suppose you want to add another line of code. Just click on the plus code on top and it will add another code block. Let me add some more code in there. How about print open parentheses and no quotation three times four? And click on the play button 
and Python calculates and gives you the answer. We haven't yet seen in the mathematical operators in Python, which will be our next chapter. I just want to show you how we can use Python to solve basic math problems. Okay, so what if I need to add a question in simple English, not as Python code? I would just click on plus text. This adds a new text block where I can type specific instructions like, um, how do you calculate 222 times 444? Well, to actually solve it, I will add a code block. So go ahead and click the add code and then you would print you would um, type a print function and then it would be 222 times 444 and close your parentheses and go ahead and click the play button. Isn't this so easy? Once I saw Google Collab, I was quite sure this is a great way for me to share the Python fun activities after each chapter. So I created this new Python notebook with all the tasks for you to solve. It is so much fun and I'm sure you will have a great time going through these questions and trying to come up with answers. Well, let me now show you the notebook. So I'm going to go to File, Open, Notebook, and I have created all the activities for this chapter in this notebook called Chapter 2 Activities. And now let me go through a couple and show you how easy it is to use Google Collab to solve these. Well, the first activity is introduce yourself. So it says the directions um, is use the print function to introduce yourself to the computer. And the sample expected output is, hi, my name is Neha, or whatever your name is. And I've already given you the print function. All you need to do is write your introduction there. So I'm going to go ahead and give you this first one. So, hi, my name is Neha. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the play button. And I got my result. Well, that um, you can do on your own. And the second one I can also give you is um, called quote a quote. And the directions is find a quote online or use one which inspires you or a funny line from your favorite movie. Well, use the print function to write it to the console. Well, um, my um, sample output is you're, you are unique just the way you are. And you can um, choose whatever quote you want. Well, don't forget when you are cre um, want to like print a quote, you need to um, print the double quotation marks. So I'm going to go ahead and write my quote. And first, I'm going to start off with a single quote and then the double quotes. And now write in the quote. You are unique just the way you are. And then you close the single quote. You close the double quotes. And then you type in. And I'm going to go ahead and type in by NP station. And now go ahead and click on the play button. And now you have your result, which is you are unique just the way you are. Just as I I expected. And as you can also see, the double quotes are also printed. Well, there are so many other activities which you can do on your own. And one of them is like activity four is actually a haiku poem. And this is my favorite. A haiku is um, a Japanese poetry that has three lines. And the first and last lines have five syllables. And the second line has seven. And um, I have given a sample. I created my own. You can use this to help you, um, and you can like create your own. And I've given you some the variable and named it haiku. And if don't forget that your haiku poem has to be in three multiple lines. If you don't, if you forgot how to print code into multiple lines, you can visit my previous video and I actually explain how to do it. And the hint is backslash n. So go ahead, you can do this on your own. I had so much fun and there's so many other activities. And um, 
I will be sharing a link to this notebook in the description below. So go ahead and download it and try solving them on your own. If you do get stuck with any of these, please do reach out to me by leaving a comment below. I'm going to be so happy to help you out. I'm sure you will have a lot of fun solving these. And actually in my next video, we will be starting with chapter 3 where we will be doing some mathematical operations using Python. And the combination of math and coding will definitely make it fun and interesting. Until then, keep coding and keep reading.